This edition of Sports Galore is proudly brought to you by Subway. And now, here's your hosts, Mark Allen and Adam Trelaw. G'day, everybody, and welcome to Sports Galore. I'm Mark Allen, and this is Adam Trelaw. Nice to see you, Ed. You too, mate, again. Hey, uh, Anzac Day. I want to ask just a few questions about Anzac Day. Amazing day. Am- amazing day on the sporting calendar. Amazing day for Australians and, and kids learning. It is. It's been it fantastic. Is. My question to you, when they play the last post, when they play the national anthem, I'm tearing up. Mate, I'm a lot the of people same. are tearing up. What, heard, what's it like being out there? Um, you know, I was listening to... I forgot what I was listening to, but someone was talking about um, singing a national anthem and how come players don't... It yeah. might have even been on your show, The Run Home. The Run Home. I bet someone, it was. Someone said about, um, you know, why the players don't sing the national anthem. But yeah. I was... I reckon I was belting the national anthem out. Were I reckon you? the guys next to me could hear me singing. That's how passionate I get about it. But, you know, you'd speak about Anzac Day in this past one. Um, you know, the conditions... I suppose suited it as well in terms of when it's raining, when it's wet, when the sun's not out. You, yeah. You're kind of sad, not sad, but you're kind of emotional anyway. And what makes it even worse is it's Anzac Day, the national anthem's getting pay, played. Yeah. You wear your heart on your sleeve, yeah. almost in tears, and and that's exactly what it was. It's such a such a privilege to be able to play in that game. Um, obviously, we didn't get the four points, but. That's the furthest thing I ever mm. think of. Um, it puts absolutely everything into perspective. And, and you need that a lot of the time because, yeah. um, you, like I said, you wear your heart on your sleeve. You're so passionate about footy, and that's exactly what I'm like. And and you need um, that reality check, I suppose, to realise that there is more to life than footy. And, and what better way for that to be Anzac Day and, and the celebration we have for this um, mm. for the Anzacs that sacrificed their life in the country of Australia and in the country of New Zealand. And it's an absolute privilege to be a part of. And you, you can... Never guess it, mate, but um, it's just amazing, amazing atmosphere, what it's like out there, and um, it's just awesome. Absolutely mm. awesome. I can imagine. I heard the boys watched Hacksaw Ridge, uh, we the did. movie that's out. What we was did. that like uh, well, as I've a group? Before, watching yeah. before? We watched yeah. it beforehand. I've seen it before, and um, yeah, obviously it's a true story about um, Desmond Doss, I think his name is. Um, he didn't want to fight or he didn't want to take a gun? So th- 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 well, what happened is he wanted to be a medic, um, but he didn't want to... He's not... For violence, he's against violence, right. and he refused refused to take a gun with him, a rifle. And this is in the middle of a war when, you know, I think it was against the Japanese. Yeah. No, yes, it was against the Japanese. The Japanese guy could just come and put a gun on him, and he wouldn't even like. He's just like, I'm just not for it at all. And he had to go through all the um, politics, and he finally got a clearance, obviously, for all the spoiler alerts out there if you haven't seen it. Yeah. But um, it's an awesome, awesome movie. And the boys absolutely loved it. One more question on Anzac Day. I know a long time ago, arms up, but the arms are up for a long time. Is it because it's actually, it, it does it does your arms yeah, in? Yeah, it does a little so bit. Long? I think oh, it hurts my legs a little bit more because you're standing there still yeah. for, 10, um, for 10 minutes. But... No, I think it was just, um, you know, we just, just agreed. We agreed to just stand there and, and soak it all up. And that's exactly what we did, especially for the um, the new guys who hadn't experienced it before, like Wellesley mm-hmm. and, and Will Hoskin Elliott. So, um, awesome experience. Result didn't go our way, but it we did. look forward. We Tell do. us about uh, well, the, the beauty, preparation. Yeah, the beauty is about footy is that um, it's only a five-day break. So, we've quickly reviewed the game today and, and where we're at and where we think we're at as a group. and. The things we need to work on going into Geelong, and it's the same things, and that's um, you know our kicking going inside 50, and our and our conversion rate when we have shots on goal. So um, we'll work at that tomorrow, and then really attack a quality opposition in Geelong. Good luck with that recovery as Thank well. You, Marco. Uh, Sunday we're looking forward to it. Now, Aussies dominating the we'll NBA. Stay. Look this at you. What we're all this, about. This show, Sports Galore episode <laughs> oh, number yes. six, is made for you. It is. Joe Ingalls, we saw him hit a Flying magic three. And also, Paddy Mills yeah, dominated. How about his quarter the other day? Incredible. Oh, Incredible. Geez. So we thought this week we'll have a look at internationals in world sport and even some internationals playing the Didn't AFL as well. You know what is crazy about Ingles and Paddy Mills now is now they're starting to get the recognition um, over there as well. Yeah. I think Paddy Mills has had it for a while, but Joe Ingles is starting to get it. Um, and they are becoming free agents. And... Boy, oh boy, you should see the money that he's going to get thrown at him. I reckon Paddy Mills will sign a $15 million mm. a year deal. Joe Ingles won't be far behind him. Absolutely crazy. Is Paddy Mills the best non-starter in the in NBA? The oh, potentially. Absolutely. He'd There's a lot the of really good five. players. Absolutely, mate. He's an He'd absolute star. the top star. five who don't What would start. be crazy is for... I'd love to see him run a team himself. You know, Tony Parker's been the traditional point guard who's been there for mm. ages now, but... 
Get Paddy Mills to a team that's struggling, and he would be a superstar. He all already right. is a superstar. So what we've decided to do today on Sports School, we're going to have a look at all the Australians playing international sport and, the top and five. rank them. Yes, top we five. are. Five to number one, about. please. Now, the NBA is first. This is your, all me, This is your Marco. baby. Look, mate, all, I, your uh, baby. I uh, thought long and hard about this, and when Sammy, our man Sammy, um, told me about it, I had to really, really find out who, who I thought was the best. Some amazing and names. Can I read it? Bogut, you, Baines, Dela Fadova, Exum, Exum Gaze, Gaze, Ingles, Ingles, Ingles Nathan Na- Jarwai, yeah, Longley, Longley, Maker. But I've got to get my top five. So start off with fifth. And I'm going to go only because he's just starting to get recognition, Joe mm. Ingles. Ingles. Um, he will eventually get his runs on the board and hopefully he becomes a championship Number player. Number five. Luke Longley, number four, purely because he is a what? he's an NBA champion. NBA champion. Part of the greatest team in, in the history exactly. of the NBA. And that's why I've got him up there. My number, number four. Th- number four. My number three. Sorry, Luke. And I'm I'm basing this off obviously their resume, but them yeah. as players. Yeah. Them as players. Yeah. So if this was purely off NBA, my next person, Andrew Gaze, wouldn't even be there because he only played what? A handful of games in the NBA yep. a season, but because I'm basing it off their pure talent, he was a superstar, the greatest NBL player, NBL that is in Australia of all time. So he has to be in the top five, absolute superstar. You wouldn't have seen him play for Seton Hall. No, uh, I didn't. Seton Hall <laughs> no, in, didn't. The, in the uh, final four, was he, he was oh, I didn't unbelievable. See, exactly. My number two right is I think his his career starting to wind down. Um, absolute star, Andrew Bogut. Yeah, won a championship. Pick number one. Number I think he was one. our only number one pick behind um, now Ben Simmons being the other one, but he was the only one for a long time. And my number one, drum roll. Who's it going to be? Paddy Mills. Paddy, Paddy Mills. Paddy. And I'm so sorry to Matthew Dallavadova. You're our Collingwood man, he and we did absolutely make love you, five. but you were fifth and a half. And he just got a listen, magic. He just listen, got a... He's, only, he's only young. He's only very, very young. So he's got a chance here. And he's... Ten years' time, mate. I'll be redoing this list, and he will be in the top three, which is a certainty. Delhi, so Mike, watch next year. <laughs> my apologies, apologies Della Vadova, but that's from top five, mate. Right now, golf on the international oh, scene. This is all you. You're going to give it to me. This is I hope all so. You. you ever heard of a bloke called David Graham? No, I haven't. <laughs> right. He's heard number bingo. five. Won a US PGA and a US Open. First Australian, really, it, to break so through good. in America. Pretty good. Adam Scott. First Australian, I know this bloke. Yeah, first I Australian ever to win the green jacket. Yes. Yeah, so that's big. Even though he's only that's won awesome. one major. I did know that. It's very, very big. Kari Webb. She was huge. Former yes, number one in the yes, world. Yes, there was Kari talk Webb. once upon a time when she was dominating the women's and Tiger was dominating the men's. I'm going to have a Versus one each on other. one. Who do you reckon would win? Oh, Tiger would you have beaten her. Yeah, but uh, that's where well, she that was thought awesome. of in the game at a time. Many, many majors. One more majors than any other Australian. Peter Thompson, five time British Open champ. Never, ever heard of him. With all due respect to the great man, but um, I've never heard of him. You've never heard of Peter Thompson? Five times British <laughs> Open champion Peter I'm Thompson. I'm sorry, Peter, but I actually haven't. <laughs> number one, so it has to be you, surely. He was a Carlton supporter, so <laughs> bad luck, Tomo. <laughs> surely no, number one, Greg you. Greg Norman, oh. the shark, is number one. <laughs> you didn't want to get yourself in there, no, mate. No, I was never going to get shark. in. Well, I knew that was going to be one. Even though I was I the greatest bunker player who's ever lived, <laughs> I was not quite making the top five there. <laughs> Soccer now... Sam no. and I have done this together, soccer. <laughs> Sammy boy. We, we know the names. All right. And number five in the history of Australians playing on the international scene. Yes. One for the old school, Johnny Warren. Oh, yeah. Johnny yes. Warren's a good name. one. It is a good one. Number four is Schwarzer. It's where it gets interesting. Yeah, Schwarzer. Is he still playing? He's about 43. <laughs> I reckon he's still playing. <laughs> he's probably still playing somewhere. Keep Bozza. Somewhere. You play for Man U. Who? I don't care who you are. Bozza. <laughs> Bozza. Mark Bosnich. Oh, Mark Bosnich. Yeah, the guy who laughs. Yeah, I don't yeah. know who his nickname basis. Bozza. <laughs> friends close Got his own show on Foxtel. Yeah, I do know that. Yeah. Bozza. Mark Bosnich. Harry Kuehl. You get a song, you are guaranteed to be in the top Absolutely. two. Absolutely. One of the greats, Harry Kuehl. And I don't think you can go past Mark Viduka. Mark Viduka. Scoring machine. Can I just Big, say, tough man. controversially, where's Timmy Cahill? Marco Bresciano? Where well, are they? Well... <laughs> Where are they, mate? What about I'm Aloisi? <laughs> That's your fault, Sam. Johnny Aloisi. Hang mate, on. We wouldn't have made the World Cup if it I'm wasn't for John it. Aloisi. I'm changing it on the spot. Johnny Warren out. For who? Tim Cahill. Okay. In. Um, what about Aloisi, mate? Well done, Timmy. Forgot Surely there's a tide for fifth, John Aloisi. 
No. Everyone remembers that penalty. If I he, know it's if only he kept penalty. his shirt on, <laughs> there was a big chance. Why, well, with a rig like his, I would have taken shirt my shirt straight off. over the neck. Come on, it's been done oh, before. No, Marco. that's good. That was a good top five. Righto. Uh, now, tennis. tennis. This, is a, this is a nice quick <laughs> one. We've had one. some great internationals. Our boy might get a feature here. Nick Kyrgios? Yes. Sit tight, Nick. <laughs> We'll see what happens. <laughs> Find out. At number five, oh, Leighton right. Hewitt, the greatest trier in Australian he sport. A Potentially in the world, man. mate. Eight greatest pressure for ever. breakfast. Yeah, agree. Number I think five. whenever we get the come on celebration, it's everyone thinks him. straight away of Leighton. It's all him. Number four, best bloke in world sport, Pat Rafter. <laughs> he is legend. Gets it. Roy Emerson, his record speaks for itself. It does. Margaret, Margaret Court. Court. Won more majors than pretty much everybody else. Amazing. And she's only number two. And so one has to be Nick Curios. <laughs> Working with you. <laughs> Surely has it to be. It is Rod Laver. Oh, okay. We're right next to his arena. His arena's across the road. No, I can excuse that. Rod Absolute Laver, champion. Rocket Rod. He won. Nick Kyrgios is a bit stiff. The there, Grand right? Slam twice. The not star. once. Superstar. Not a career Grand Slam. No, the thoroughly Grand deserved. Slam twice. Thoroughly deserved. Right on. Now, the internationals in the AFL. Oh, in the AFL, yes. We're going to work through we this are. one together. We are. All right. All right. So the names that we've come up with Peter Bell, Wayne Schwoss, Jezalinko. Jezalinko. Jimmy Steins, Mel Michael, Mel Michael. Uh, Ty Canelli, Mill Hanna. Hanna. He was the baldy, wasn't he? Lebanon. For Carlton, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, that's right. He Heredia was. Lumumba, Heredia. Paulie Harry O'Brien, uh, Jim Edmund. Who's Jim Edmund? I have no... I'm sorry, but I don't know I, who Jim I've Edmund is. I've never heard of Jim Edmund. I'm going to have to do Edmund my research, for, Sammy. Sam? You don't know who he played for? Even our producer doesn't know doesn't who Jim know Edmund Doesn't know who he played is. for. Well, that's a big tick for sorry, me. Sorry, Jimmy boy. Crody from New Zealand. Trent Crode. Anyway, so they're the ones that we've got down. We've got to just right. manipulate this. All right. Well, you give me your fifth, and I'll give you my fifth. I've got my fifth. So I, I'm a Wayne Schwoss okay. type of guy. And, you know, we grew five. up in different, yes, different, different eras. eras. Yes. So I'm going with a three-time premiership player, Mel Michael. <laughs> yeah, you got me. All right, Mel Michael. So, yeah, Mel All Michael. Right. Yes, ads. One yes. nil ads. I forgot how many premierships he won at Brisbane. Right. I remember him as a Collingwood player. Mel Michael exactly. at number five. We've got to look after the Collingwood fellas. Number four, Ty Canelli is what I'd go. Ty Canelli. Okay, I you? had Peter Bell. But Peter Bell. Give me, mate. He was a champion for a guy who was about five foot nothing. Yeah. Worked his absolute backside off. I reckon he won at least North four Melbourne best and fairest. Won a pre- two premierships at North Melbourne. Ty Canelli won one premiership. One and premiership. With all due respect to Ty Canelli, who was a superstar. But mate, at the end of the day, this is your pick. Well, I'm going with me. I'm going with all Ty right, you because go Canelli. Peter probably played the game no, his whole life, right. and Ty right. Canelli that's, had to learn like the that. game. No, that's good. So I'm going to go with that's Canelli good. at number four. We could pot- potentially have Peter Bell ahead of Mel Michael, but right. Well, you've got the odds. That's for, <laughs> that's for, yeah, you that's could. That could happen. That later. Now you got some big my names third. here: Jezalinko, Steins. Third. You want to hear my third? All yeah. right, I've gone. Uh, Jezalinko, you, you beauty. Yeah, had to be there. And, uh, you know, obviously Jezza. I wasn't around watching him, but um, I've read about him and oh, Captain, uh, what was he? Captain, Captain, ca- ca- Captain, last captain coach ever in the Ridiculous. AFL. Pre- last Star. captain coach, premiership And captain everyone coach. remembers that, Specky. Yeah. You were in the backyard when you were a kid taking a hangover. Jezalinko, Jezalinko, you, you beauty. beauty. Everyone said it. So this is... This where it gets me. controversial for for us two, but give me your two. Well, Jimmy Stein's Brownlow medalist. Exactly, oh, Jimmy Stein's Brownlow medalist. You got him there. I had him number two. Beautiful. That makes Legend. sense. What a what a man. Right, right. number one. Well, this, number one. This is all you. <laughs> all you. Oh wow. Okay, so my best mate. Oh, <laughs> your best mate. <laughs> and obviously, I'm not best mates with any of these guys. <laughs> your best mate. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting married. I'm getting married in um, oh. in December, and this he's my best mate. He's going to be um, one of my best men at my groom's, at my groom's party. <laughs> he's spent. What's his name? His name's Peter Wright. <laughs> Peter Wright. Where's he from? His name's Peter. Peter. P. Peter. P i v a. Peter. Where's Peter from? <laughs> he's an, he's from Samoa. Samoa. So, Peaver, story of Peaver. I've played, I've what, played my whole life with what him. What are we doing? Listen, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I've played my whole life with him. Yeah. He spent one year on the rookie list at Richmond. So he was in the AFL, played two NAB Cup games, but yet he's still the best international player I've ever seen. So my boy Peaver Wright is number <laughs> one. 
<laughs> Don't agree with me, mate. Peeva, how do you spell his last W? Right. W-R-I-G-H-T. Peeva Wright. There you go, The Peeva. greatest international in <laughs> AFL history. The credibility of our show has just gone down the <laughs> toilet sorry. right there. Sorry to Jim Stein, Sorry to Lincoln, the Peter Bell, Mel Michael, and the rest. Ty Canelli. <laughs> Peeva Wright. Peeva Wright's the greatest international player to ever play this game. Righto. Thanks to our good <laughs> friends at Subway, our very, very good friends at Subway. Oh, Thank goodness geez, they don't that sponsor good. that last segment. <laughs> this is the inside story. Oh, and yes. Over to you, sir. Have you got a nice little inside no, we story do, for we us? Do. So, um, They've been making news, our inside back stories, on, too, by the way. Back on to what you said. Yeah, we did. Our boy Mitch McCarthy, Blake Griffin. Signed a poor kid's chest. Yeah, a legend. Probably still stuck there. <laughs> um, no, this is on a more serious note, off the mm. back of what we just spoke about being absolutely hilarious. Peter Wright Peter being Wright. the greatest player. Yeah. But obviously, Sammy earlier before spoke about um, Hacksaw Ridge, and we watched yes. Hacksaw Ridge on uh, Friday. All right, this is getting and, good. Um, yes. No, and it was just a great insight on, you know, you, you don't... This is off the back of Anzac Day, and it's very... You never compare, you know, playing footy to the war. Correct. There's no comparisons. Correct. But... Something that you do take out of it is the courage, the sacrifice, the respect, the selflessness. That's all relatable towards a footy team. Yep. Um, you know, and we when we watched that as a group, it was just so, it was so like inspirational being in that position with with my teammates. Um, obviously, we didn't win, but mm. out of that, we took so much inspiration and motivation for the for the rest of the season, knowing that um, you you're going to fail. You're always going to fail, but as long as you work your absolute backside off, be there for each other, be mm. courageous in what you do, be there, be relentless in each other and be there for each other. No matter what, um, you're going to succeed. And, and that was the best thing I took out of it. And when Buck said that, you know, we're all watching it, um, I don't think anyone anyone at all complained about, you know, wanting to go home or anything. They all said, yeah, absolutely, we'll watch that. We spoke about it. And, yeah, it was absolutely amazing to watch. Um, and yeah, it's on nice. a more serious note, that that was uh, yeah, that was my inside story of the week, mate. Right, so we've gone from Peeva Wright, which was a disgrace, to <laughs> that, which was the best inside story. It was good. So it was far awesome. And if you haven't watched Hacksaw Ridge, can you please, please, it. please watch it? Because yeah, it I is a it phenomenal movie. All right, I'm going to watch it now. Time for you wouldn't believe it. Oh yes. And there's a couple. So and who's this? Is no, it you, you or me? It's you. I've got the second one. Oh, there's you a, want me to go a, first? There's a part B. Okay. Right. Now. This week we play the Cats and Joel Selwood. No yeah, doubt it yes. will be a challenge, obviously. And Dangerfield. He's not yes. a bad player, though. They're, they they're not a bad pair. They are. But anyway, back on Danger, uh, back on uh, Selwood. Yes. Back in 1911, Geelong had a player by the name of Joe. Joe Selwood. But this one's spelt S-E-L-L-W-O-O-D, where Joel Selwood is with one L. So Double anyway... L, yeah. This, okay, this so there's Joe a missing, Selwood yeah. is originally from New Zealand. He played 180 games between 1930 and 1941. Yeah. And again after World War II between 1944-45. Do you believe it or not? So the moral is here that Joe Selwood with the two L's, if you take one Play of those L's across, then you've got the same letters. It'd be a Joel Selwood. From well, Both it, played for Geelong. It's such a ridiculously boring, <laughs> stupid one that I've got to say, yes, that is correct, Sam. <laughs> well, it is. is correct or it not? is correct. That is you correct. Right. It is correct. So not only was there a Joel Selwood. Thumbs up, Sammy. That was, was a awesome. Joe Selwood. <laughs> that was awesome. Who played for Geelong. <laughs> right, Mate, well, that's... Well, that is funny you should cool. say this. Come on, Marco. Because... You would have laughed first episode. There was a Melbourne player during the 1950s named Aaron Trelaw. Aaron Trelaw. Played for Melbourne. Forward pocket. Aaron Trelaw. 43 Trelaw. games, kicked 20 goals. I just think it's wrong straight away because I don't know that many Trelaws. That's true. You're right. It's False. true. So you stuffed both of them up, Sammy. <laughs> one was Aaron boring Trelaw. and the other one wasn't believable. I've only ever met one other Trelaw that's not related to me and it definitely wasn't Aaron. So I knew that was Where's wrong Where's the name the Trelaw come from? Do you know? Mate, I've got no idea. I should do my research. You know what? I'll we, research let's it. Let's do that. And next week, I'll come back and tell you where the origins are from, mate. Yeah, you, know, you give your details to my mum and she'll trace your and she'll whole do family all, right. all the we'll way back. This. She's we'll unbelievable. That. We will. We'll find out uh, what sort of stock you're from, which will be interesting. <laughs> like you might be a prince for all we yeah, know. Yeah, never know, mate. For all we know, you may be. Now, time for Do prince You Adam Care. Trelaw. Yeah, that's got a nice ring. Do You Care? Russell, oh, of course you're going to care. Russell Westbrook care. getting fed up with journalists it's telling hilarious. his teammates are supporting cars. Yes, it's hilarious. Do You Care? Yes, it's, did you see it? Yeah, it's it was hilarious. great. It was great. It's the media trying Next to question. split their team. Next question. 
Next Absolutely question. hilarious. It's fantastic. Love the way he sticks up for his team. Cricket. Brian Lara believes there should be no draws in test cricket. And how cricket. would that work? It's just whoever gets bowled out and whoever... Poor old what Brian. What do you reckon, Marco? Poor old Brian. What? What's wrong with Brian? What do you, you've got to have a draw in test cricket. That's what, <laughs> what? makes it unbelievable. Nah, you know what? Some Look, of them are either a draw you, or you win. No, I'm with Brian. Brian Lara, our boy. Well, how do you suggest we do the tiebreaker? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> one, so you play five days of Test cricket and it's no result. Then you play one no, over each of going. 2020 or something. Let's not make it. A t- let's not make it a five day. Let's just make it to just goes forever. Exactly. Like in the old days. You know what? Fifteen days. Keep playing. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you Brian Lara's number. You two can have a chat. All right. I'll chat to him. Soccer. Lionel Messi scored his 500th goal for Barcelona when they beat Real Madrid in the El Clasico. His that's, coach that's said ridiculous. after the game that he's the best player in history of oh, football. He's pretty good. And I'm a, uh, I don't know too much about soccer, but I know the the best players. Yeah, he's a friend. And I constantly hear about him and Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. So, mate, who, do, who would you era, take? Who would you take? Era, oh, probably on FIFA. Yeah, well, that's this is the important bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on FIFA, I think Ronaldo. I think Ronaldo's rated. One stat higher. Is that right? So I think he's 94. Well, For all my FIFA f- um, fans and supporters out there, can you just so, tweet her in or something who's higher? Because I think um, I think Ronaldo's higher, but I'd have Messi. But in saying that, if you get Neymar, he's only young. In a couple <laughs> of years' time, you get untapped potential on him. He really develops into... Potentially right. a 99 overall. So for future reference, if we're having an argument <laughs> about who is the best player, we go straight to Xbox. Speak- and that is the speaking, final cast. Speaking of, of, kind of overall ratings. Yes. Our friends our friends at AFL Evolution. Yes. The new game is getting released yeah, I know. next My week. My kid wants it desperately. Well, buy it for him. I'll come around and we'll play. <laughs> yeah. I just, can I just say, I'm rated 84. Come on. You can't, you, didn't you come fourth oh. in the Brownlow last year? Mate... Yeah, but I'm rated 84. What, what, what's the highest rating you well, get? 100? Well, the high, 100's your highest. Yeah. Look. Who, who's, who's the highest so rated? So the highest is uh, Nate Fife off the top of my head, which is What's fair. he rated? He's rated 93 out of 100. Second is, I think, Gary Ablett, mm-hmm. who's 92. And third is Patrick Dangerfield. At 90? At 91. 91. And you're and 84. The, but... but then there's a heap of guys who are 90, 91. Robbie Gray is 90. Wingard's up there. And uh, you're 84. And I'm 84. I'm 80. Pendles is 91, which is awesome. Well done. But I'm 84, guys. Come on. So when's Come the next on. update? Look, yeah, that, surely it gets updated look, pretty no, soon. I don't think it there's an update. In the 90s. I don't think there's an update. I'm just shattered, guys, because, look, I'm an Xbox <laughs> lover. I'm going to play this game religiously. I'm going to play it all the time. To- it comes out on Friday. We play next Friday. It comes out. We play on the Saturday. Yeah. I'll spend probably nine hours after I get home from training what playing we're going to my... Do. What, what we are going to do here, we're coming to my place because my kid loves Adam. And we're going to play... We're gonna, you guys are going to play on the Xbox. And before we're gonna we get do that it, done. we're going to go edit player, yeah. edit Adam Trelaw, and we're going to chuck his ratings up because, come on, <laughs> 84. Yeah. I'm just shattered. I'm Unfair. shattered, guys. Unfair. NFL. Australian punter Sam Irwin Hill has been signed by the Dallas Cowboys. I didn't even know this. Become the this seventh Aussie awesome. in the NFL. I love that stuff. Yeah, his name. Hyphenated. Irwin Hill. I like Irwin that. Irwin Hill. It's not a bad one. Like Glock McKeel Glock. That's hyphenated. Is, is that is, now? Is it hyphenated or is it? I think. Look, I'm, that's very important. No, I don't think it's hyphenated, but it sounds like it is. Glock McKeel Glock. He gets in here every week somehow. <laughs> NFL Marshawn Lynch. Uh, yeah, he, re- he signed with Oak- Oakland Raiders. Is this big? Yes, this is great. Have uh, you seen what he's like? Notoriously you know, famous for consistently repeating himself and say. giving one-word answers in press conferences. You've seen, you know how it's a yeah. bit different over there. They have to speak to the media. Yeah. He legit says yes, no, yes, no. Yes, no, yeah. maybe. He's all he ever says. It wasn't yes, a, no, maybe. I'm only here because... I have to talk, have to, to, you guys. talk to you guys. Yes, I'm no, maybe. Here it's all he does. Talk, yeah. But that's exciting for the city of Oakland. Is it? It is. Not exciting for the media of Oakland, <laughs> but exciting <laughs> for the is. people of Oakland. It is exciting. Now, in the AFL, Scott Penelbury named uh, Lenny Hayes oh, as yeah, his absolutely. most admired opponent. Who's yours? Oh, you've put me on the spot here. Most admired. And well, most admired. Not the toughest, not the fiercest, admired. not the best. Well, most I don't admired want to, opponent. I don't want to uh, embarrass him mm. because I work with him all the time. Right. But Pendles is yeah. is very highly regarded in my mind. Um so he's probably right up there with Chris Judd. And I know Judd's my favourite, but mm-hmm. he's one of my most he's right up players there. as well. Because the way he changed, he's 
the way he changed the way he played. He went from a break the lines, absolute superstar, couldn't tackle him, had a bit of groin issue, got traded to Carlton, had to change his game, become the best contested ball player in amazing. his in his uh well when he played. So amazing. Him and Pendles. Ed, good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Good luck with the recovery. Um, and let's hope uh, we can turn this ship let's around. Hope. Get a few wins. Folks, make sure you get to the MCG this Sunday. Support our boys. We never say die in black and white. We hope to see you there. See you next time. Thanks to our friends at Subway, this has been another episode of Sports Galore. If you've got feedback on the show or you have a topic you'd like the guys to talk about, use the club's official social channels to let us know. Go Pies.